Hello and welcome back to the workout of the week. Tommy and Andy here. Today we're going to be looking at the CMT and how we can use this for racket sports. So particularly we're going to be looking at how we can improve shoulder stability, power generation and also rotational strength through the trunk and torso and through the core. Okay. Uh, the exercises we're going to do, we're going to do five of them. We're going to explain and demonstrate them quickly and then you guys obviously get hold of a CMT and have a go. The great thing about the CMT is when we get to end of range with the, with the shot inside the CMT within the core, it increases the load of that end of range. So it really does help to improve uh, stability. While using the CMT, you'll also find that these movements also get a great integration through the trunk and torso and through the core. So not only are we getting great stability through the shoulder and work through the shoulder complex, but we're also integrating the core every time, which is really important for these racket sports. So we're going to demonstrate them quick, quickly. We've got what I call a wide arm catch first of all. Um, so Andy's going to perform this quickly. All we're trying to do is throw and catch the CMT wide out above the head, above the shoulder. Okay, so off we go Andy. That's it. And you'll notice that the left arm, we're aiming to throw that straight. Okay, so we're having to really decelerate that load at the end of range across the left shoulder. Let's perform a few on the other side. So we're just going to switch the hand grip. Okay, and then really throw that arm out to the side. Again, we've got some rotation through the trunk there, through the core, to get that integration. Okay, and then we're going to switch the hand grip so both hands are over, and we're now we're going to, going to do a side-to-side -side catch. So from here, we're going to throw wide, again, trying to straighten the arm out to the side, so we're having to really decelerate that load at end of range. So from here, we're going to rotate through the body as well and catch it out to the side. So we're doing a wide arm horizontal catch. Again, he's got that rotation through the trunk, that integration through the body. Okay, you'll notice that a couple of those are a little bit qu quiet in terms of the, the noise. Just rest there for a, for a second. If you notice that you're getting a little bit too much of a slow shu, sure, you should be getting a really sharp one. So we want to make sure that we're really putting that in at the end. And it shows us whether Andy's performing this well or not. So let's have a few more of those, Andy, where we're really giving it a little bit more effort at the end. That's much better. You can hear that sound. Okay, you know that you're really throwing it correctly then. Okay, next exercise is one of the standard movements, one of the core movements. It's called the launch. This is a great one for improving shoulder stability uh, at end of range. So here we're going to use, utilize the whole body and integrate the whole body. We're going to be throwing the CMT above the head, okay, into this launch position. At the same time, we're going to come up off our toes here. So we're integrating the whole anterior chain. Okay, let's have a look, Andy. Great stuff. Nice and dynamic, this movement, okay? Put together, if you're doing this for time, you'll find this is a great one for the cardiovascular system. Lovely, okay, so that's your launch. The next one, we're gonna perform a similar movement to that, but we're actually gonna be using our feet as well. So we're gonna get a little bit of balance and stability challenges with the lower body. It's a two foot to one foot hop, uh, reverse. So Andy's going to come forwards a little bit on the lifting platform here mate and all I want you to do is step back into that one foot position okay and you're going to launch the CMT over the head as you do so. Okay so not only have we got the questions being asked across the shoulder complex we're also now looking at the lower body and working on balance and stability through the ankle, knee and hip. Awesome. And the final one is going to be looking at really focusing on rotation through the trunk and torso. We're going to be doing the punching movement, but at the same time we're going to go from a two foot to one foot position. So again, it's going to be working on balance and uh, stability through the lower body. Let's have a look at this. Okay, so the focus is on the movement to the right and then catching it in that rotated position. So we're punching it across to the side of the body really using our trunk and torso to work. We recover at this position with two feet, stabilize and go again. And obviously we'd be doing the same on the other side, so let's just do a few on the other side as well there, just to show. Okay, so it's gonna be landing on the left foot and punching the CMT. Really nice. Okay, so you see you've got a variety of movements there and hopefully by looking at the movements, you can hopefully see how that is gonna to start to improve or help assist any person 
involved in racket sports, especially through the shoulder complex and also through the uh, power generation from the core. Okay, so grab hold of a CMT, have a go at those movements and let us know how you get on and also ask any questions if you've got, if you've got about the product or about the exercises via social media. We look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks again.